right? I could have the body in that, what you might say, good posture, but if it's in that good posture, but it's congealed, compressed, held together with tension, um, that's a very different and much less healthy state than if all the body parts have been moved and then we find that middle, then we're loose, we're free, we're light. So all the movements we're gonna do will help you find center and it will also be a different quality of center, right? So comfortable seat there. And let's begin in earnest with just some breathing. So we'll sit this way so you can see. Oh, that's what I was going to do. Mute everybody. Um, <clears throat> so I'm not forcing, I'm not holding myself up. I'm very much relaxed, loose, but yet not slouched. So make the appropriate effort, line everything up. Espresso cup on your head, relax everything else. Chin slightly down, noticing how that opens the back of the skull, the base of the skull. Close the eyes for a little bit. Notice how closing your eyes is a sort of nourishing experience, right? It's a, it's a, an experience of restfulness, right? It's what we do when we close our eyes. I mean, when we go to sleep, right? We hopefully dive into that deep dark, that place where we get nourished. So this act of closing the eyes while you meditate can be very, very nourishing, very rejuvenative. Just take notice that your body's breathing. Notice that every breath has four distinct parts. The inhale is ha happening at the top of the inhale. There's a moment of pause, of hovering. Then there's the turnover to the exhale, down to the bottom, where then there's an empty state. You don't inhale right away. And then inhale when it's time. And as much as possible, release unnecessary grip and hold and see if that can allow uh, any of that like tremoring or, or wriggling that may be happening right to relax so another great mudra for the hands is this one here go ahead open your eyes and watch me so sometimes when the hands are on the legs they're having to work more than when if you rest them like so and sort of cradle and rest them on your lap so get somewhere where your hands feel like they can totally let go, shoulders can let go, and release. Nasal breath in. That little moment of pause at the top. Smooth nasal breath out or out the mouth. Holding at the bottom. When you're ready, inhaling again. Holding the breath. Exhaling, holding the breath empty. Let's do that about eight more times. Gently open the eyes, hands slide onto the legs, slide the hands forward and slightly past the kneecaps and drop the head softly round back. Slide the hands back, elbows back, shoulder blades back, lift the head, arch. Slide the hands forward, all the way forward, round. And 
back, all the way back, arch, one more. Now, come to neutral, that middle, then left hand forward, right hand back, turning the shoulders and head to look to the right. Then slide the left hand back, right hand forward, turn shoulders and head to look to the left, maybe even a little behind you. Slide left hand forward, right hand back, rotate. And reverse, just very light, very subtle. We're not trying to force it or get to any crazy range of motion. We're just gently inducing some of this rotation in the body. And other side. After you finish that third one to your left, come back to the middle. Arms hang by your sides. And just lean, or rather side bend. So your right hand will go a little lower to the floor. Left elbow, just let it come up a little bit. Otherwise, it's sort of... Uh, uh, tugs on the neck. You just lift that so that this is all relaxed. And then release and come back to middle and then lean to your left. So you're getting a little side bend. Let that right elbow lift a little bit. And then back to center. Two more. And work on executing the movement with release. You're sort of falling in that direction, but in a controlled way. And then almost like falling back to the middle, even though it takes a little effort. This we can sort of release over, let the head fall softly, and then back. One more to each side, and notice your eyes, as they're looking forward, when you lean sideways, you're changing your orientation to the room, and this is very healthy for the brain. This is why certain yoga poses are very good for us. Being upside down is good for us. It's like we don't want to get too stuck seeing the world only at one angle when we see it sideways like this. And then we come back and we make that regular for us. We're more able to deal with changes in balance, right? But if we get frozen with this as the horizon and then something happens, our brain's not prepared for it, right? Okay, right shoulder up and down. Now, when I say shoulder, I mean shoulder blade. The scapula, which is on your back. It's like a pizza pie shaped bone. Left side, slide that shoulder blade up and down. And so you might think a lot of times what I see people do when I do this is they lean like that again. But in this one, we want to keep this quiet and lift the shoulder really high so that the muscles there in the shoulder are like a sponge getting squeezed and then that sponge getting released. Left side, squeeze the sponge, the stress sponge up on our shoulders there. And then most importantly, melt it all the way down. Let's do that with both. Shrug and release. Shrug, higher, higher, higher. Get those shoulders up there. So Bruce, your shoulder blades didn't move. I saw you lift and sit up but I didn't see your shoulders actually move. So make sure that happens. Go ahead and do that. Shoulders. And then back down. All right. Now, right shoulder, forward, up, back, down. Forward, up, back, down. Forward, up, back, down. Circling. Reverse the circle, back, up, forward, down, back, up, forward, release, back, up, forward. All that's an action. This is a release. Doing, don'ting. Action, release. And switch. Make sure it's the shoulder moving. Back. Forward, up, back, down. Let's 
forward, up, back, down, forward, up, back, down. Reverse the direction. From the down, we go back, up, forward, down. Circles, shoulder blade, circles. And finish. Both forward, up, this time lift the elbows a little bit. Shoulder blades back, elbows back. Shoulder blades down, elbows down, hands down. Forward, arms are totally relaxed. Up, the elbows come along for the ride, up and back. And down. Other way. Last one. Good. Alternate right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Switch, right, left. And pause, good. Left hand on right knee, lean over a little bit, arm hanging, soft circle, small, Larger, a little larger, larger. So the fingertips drawing a larger and larger circle, larger. Now, sit upright again, the arm goes forward, over to the side a little bit, but not too far behind you, and just let it fall down alongside. Forward, up, over, down. A couple more, forward, up, over, and down. Forward, up, over, and down. And then lastly, not just forward, but you gotta let this leg fall in, go across, and then up, over, and down. And then across, up, over, and down. One more. And release. Lean over, circles in the other direction. Larger, a little larger, a little larger still. And then once they get to a certain size, then sit upright. And now the arm only goes a little bit behind and to the side, but a lot forward. Down. A little bit to the side and up, but forward a lot. Forward. Forward. Now even cross, cross and down. You got to dodge the knee. Up, over and forward and across and down and dodge the knee. One more. And release. Switch legs, lean, small circles to larger, to larger still. Eventually sitting upright and going forward but not too far back. Really listen to me when I say that, because a lot of times people go cranking this back and it hurts the shoulder, throws off the form. Whereas it's just a little bit here. Just let it fall down by your side, but go a lot forward, very forward, but just a little bit back into the side. And that's just how the body is built. Now, Lean the knee in and cross, and then draw that circle. 
and then cross and draw that circle. One more cross, draw that circle. Let the arm hang and let's circle in the other direction. Circle. A little bit larger. Larger. Once you get to a certain size, sit upright. Forward. Up softly, forward. Out and up softly, forward. And now cross. Cross. Dodge the knee. Cross. Dodge the knee. Forward and cross. Dodge the knee. One more. And release. And finally, both. Lean forward, circles. Bigger, bigger, bigger. And then sit upright. And now we go forward. Out to the side. Forward. Out to the side. Forward. Now lean forward and go cross. Up and out to the side. Cross the other. One more cross of each. And release. Final one. Lean forward slightly so they dangle. Circle in the other direction. Circles getting larger, larger. Larger, eventually sitting up and going up the side, over the top, and quite a bit forward and down. Up the side, over the top, forward and down. Soft, loose, as much, especially this is one of the most important things, is here it's a controlled soften, right? Rather than a holding on of tension and moving the arm, it's a release of tension as a vehicle of movement. And finally, crossing and lean forward and let them miss the knees. And then crossing and lean forward and let them miss the knees. One more of each cross. And release. Now, turn right palm forward, turn right palm back. Turn right palm forward, back forward, back forward, back forward, back. Shake, loose. Switch forward, back, forward, back, shake. Raise the hand like you're saying hi. Shake, palm forward, palm back, palm forward, palm back. Shake, 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 shake. Switch. Both and both. And then we close, float, turn. Fold up and over, settle, 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 settle. Hands right at the belly. Great job. Hands come down alongside. Now, <clears throat> fold at the right elbow, touch the right shoulder, and then softly release it down. Left. Practice ease, not speed. But just ease, because if you practice ease, then ease will be speed. If you can do it without getting in your own way, let's do both now. Both. And as you let these go down, let them swing. Swing. Up. Swing. Up. Swing. One more. Keep them up. Wings, chicken wings. Down to totally relax. In, towards each other, squeeze and touch the elbows together. Touch your elbows together. Make sure that's happening. There you go, Bruce. Good job. And then relax that and bring them back. Now, again, they don't have to touch, but I'm saying you got to be knowing that that's the effort. So if they don't get there, don't hurt yourself trying to get there. But we're not just pushing the hands together. We're bringing those elbows in. Release them down. 
up and out. Yeah. In. Yeah. Up and out. Yeah. In. Now from in, go to down and then go back. And then down. And then forward, hands resting on the shoulders, maybe even up. And then forward and down and back and down and forward and possibly up. My hands are on my back, right? So here you see this. Here. Here, there, down, back, down, forward, up, down, back, down, forward and up, and finally, down to here. Now just let your arms fall to this position. Turn palms down, up, down, up. Pronation, supination. The way that's happening is these two bones in the forearms are rolling. So that needs to be understood as a joint. That's a joint. Then palms up, fingers come towards each other, one a little higher than the other, and Bring the arms into this position like a cradle and then back to neutral and then open. And then neutral, other hand above the, the other hand and cradle. This is internal rotation, neutral rotation of the shoulder, external rotation. Neutral, internal. Neutral, external. In, neutral, stay here. Bring the left hand up, over and reach across and hover it above the right palm. Then up, reverse all the way back. Up, over, up and back. lot happening with this, one of which is target practice, brain target practice. Can you get your hand to hover and then come back and then up and over and hover and come back? Great. Now from here, both hands come up and go across. As they cross, the palms turn down and we take the arms down between the legs till they're totally straight, but they're internally rotated. Then we cross on the way up, bring them up as you roll them open. Then they come back out to here. Now the arms are externally rotated. Do it again with the other cross. Cross, come down. Cross on the way up and roll right open. Eventually this movement ideally will feel just like one gesture. One gesture. It's a very natural movement, but at first it takes some doing, some paying attention. One more of each. And remember this one for later. We're going to add it to a standing exercise. Both hands come in and down. Relax shoulders. Now the wrists, lift your hands up, palms turn up, fold in, down through and point forward. Turn the palms up, fold over the top and in, down through and point forward. Palms up, over the top and through. Palms up, over the top and through, 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 through. Through, through. Other direction, underneath, 
over the top, spin the palms underneath, over the top, through, through. And release. Sing Chi. The belly. This is just that closing gesture. We do these little intermittent closes through the practice. And rest your hands on your legs. Head and neck. Turn the head to the right. Turn the head to the left. Right. Left. Again, and again. Now, watch me here. Chin down, chin up. Down, up, down, up. This exercise here, a little complex, is a combination of those two things put together. Meaning, start with your head up a little, you turn to the right, and then bring the chin down and look down. Then on your way back to the middle, your head looks up. So it's kind of like you're coming up over a rainbow. You're looking at the top of the rainbow, then you're gonna go down the side of the rainbow. So you turn and look down at the bottom of the rainbow. And then come up the rainbow to the top, over the top and down to the rainbow at the bottom, or the bottom of the rainbow. Up in the middle, over and down to the side. Up in the middle, down to the side. One more of each. Now the opposite, an upside down rainbow. Look down, as you come to the middle, and then look up even higher than the middle. Look up into the sky a little to the side, and then come down and look at the bottom of the rain, the upside down rainbow. The, the, the what is the opposite of the apex there? And then up to the side, and then down in the middle, and up to the side. Ah. Ah. Now we finish by going back to the first exercise, which is just turning left, turning right, and that evens everything out, right? So sometimes we, the neck can feel a little funny after doing those movements. And so this movement just brings everything back to happy medium, all right? And then the next exercise of the neck, watch what I do here. First it's ear, uh, sorry, ear to the shoulder, but don't bring the shoulder up, ear falls. Back to the middle, falls, side, middle, side, middle again, side, middle, side, and middle. Now the other portion of this exercise that makes the circle is head uh, chin down and chin up or head back, right? So re redo this movement of the head going down, middle, back, right? So now we put all that together like this. The ear goes to the right side. The head goes back. The head comes around the back of a circle till the ear is slightly down to the left. And then we bring it around in front. And then we roll it to the right and back and around. And then roll it to the left and forward and around. Each one could maybe get a little bigger. Let's do two more. One more. On this last one, let the head hang in front. Bring it back up to center. Then we go the other way. The ear goes a little to the left shoulder. The head goes back. Back and around. 
forward and around. Back and around. Forward and around. Back and around. Forward and around. Great job, everybody. Two more, please. On this last time around, when your head is forward, let it stay hanging forward for a moment. And then rise up to the middle and close up and over. Settle, settle, settle. Scoot to the back of your chair for stability. Right leg, hip hinge, and heel being drawn in, which is like a, a knee flexion. So this is chambering, and then put that foot down. Lift and chamber, bring it in, and then down. Chamber, down, chamber, down. Now chamber push, chamber, push, chamber, down, chamber, push, chamber, down. On this next one, Chamber push hold, point flex. Now, invert ebert. Circles. Circles the other way. And down. Other leg, chamber push and hold. Point flex. <clears throat> Invert, evert, little in, out. Circles. Other direction, circles. And bring the foot down. Scoot forward again on your chair, all the way to the front edge, and as much as your leg uh, of your leg as you can, have it out over the floor. So it's really just your buttock bones on the chair. Now lift the ball of your left foot and turn on that heel. Turn the toes and the knee out. Lift, come back to middle, then lift the toes and turn the legs slightly in. Toes have to come in, thigh has to come in. It's not just the knee falling in, which would not be good for the knee joint. It's a turning. Then it's middle, then it's out, middle, in. Now get, uh, don't stop in the middle. Out, in, out, in, out, in, and middle. Other side. From middle to out. Middle, in, middle, out, middle, in. Skip over the middle. So your toe comes up over the top and in. And middle. Now, slightly different to that, lift the heel. So the ball of the foot stays on the ground. The knee comes in, the heel goes out. Then back to the middle. Then the heel comes in, the knee goes out. Then heel to middle. This move, this move. So the heel lifts off the ground. You swivel on the ball of the foot and land, and then swivel on the ball of the foot. And now skip over the middle. Just go external, 
internal, external, internal. So the foot has those two pivots, the heel or the ball of the foot, and we use both of them. And back to the middle. Let's do the ball of the foot pivot on this side. Heel goes out as the knee comes in, and then switch. Internal, external. And middle. All right, nice job. From here, we're doing this other exercise as well. Pretty important. Uh, put both your hands on your right knee. You're going to lift your left leg and whole foot off the ground and then circle it out and then land it. Then lift it, bring it circling in. Like that. Again, same leg. Up to out. Out to in. Again. One more. Let's switch legs. Now, legs at hip distance, fold at the hip crease, and then look what I do here with the arms. Only if that feels good to you, but it can, where you swivel around and point those elbows forward. And then sit up to neutral, lean back, back, and then neutral, and then forward, and swivel around on those hands, elbows point. And neutral. And back. And neutral. One more. Now, we add to that forward folding, slide elbows back and arch the back. Now fold, slide your hands down and round the back. Now stay round, your head is the last thing now to come up. So everything comes all the way up. And then the last item is your head. Lift, like it just blossoms at the top. And then keep your head up the whole way down, and then it's the last thing to go down. Then on the way up, it's the last thing to come up. Two more. Shaking loose the heavenly pillow. And we are up. Next, step your feet. Wide apart, big wide stance. Turn your arms so they're in this position. Elbows are out, fingers are on the inner leg. Fold between your legs and just go down and round a bit and see if you can even look underneath you and behind you. And then sitting back up, all the way up. And then lean back, 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 back. And again, middle. As you start going forward, turn the arms so they're in this dragon position. Fold. And then rise. And then lean back. And then forward. Bow. And up. And back. Now, from this back position, start going over to the right and bring your chest towards your right knee. And then sweep through. 
over to the left. And then lean back and around. Let's do three more in this direction. Sure. The dragon stirs the sea with its massive tail. Sweet. One more. Switch direction. Stir the sea the other way. One more. And we are back. Legs come together. Let's sink the chi to the belly. Standing and sitting. Back the feet up a little bit so that you're Legs are not at a 90 degree, but rather an acute angle. Fold. First energy of the gesture is forward, forward. Then push through the earth, stand. Push the butt back and fold. Sit the butt low, land, sit upright. Let's do that a few times. Forward. Push down to rise up. Butt goes back. Arms are loose. You don't need your arms for this project. You don't need them. Key is hinge at the hips enough to create the shape be able to control all the way down. And if you're plunking onto your chair, over time, you want to have no hard landing. And also on the way up, some of you I see you're having to push with your hands. And what needs to happen over time is you stop doing that. Maybe what you do is you reach them out, but you need to get your weight beyond your toes. That's what gets your butt off the chair. And then, it's easy peasy lemon squeezy. You just stand up. Same thing on the way down. If you're falling into your chair, that's because you're not hinging enough and staying balanced all the way down till your butt lands. All right, last one. Now, just for these squats, but what happens with the squat as well is we push the hips forward and arch the back and then the hips go back and we sink them and then the stand up and push the hips forward and arch and then the hips go back and sink them let's do one more and we're up good now we're standing Tip the weight forward into the toes, into the toes, and back, the middle, and then a little bit into the heels, and middle, and toes, and middle, and heels, middle, toes, middle, heels. Now, with that toe heel thing, Go to your heels and bring your hands back, up. Now they're at shoulder height. Go to your toes, tip forward, and let that send your arms out, dipping into the distance. With your palms facing up, rock back to your heels, and notice that encourages the hands to come into the mouth, all the way in. So notice how much my hands come in, all the way. Then the hands go down to the belly button. Then the fingers point down as the butt sneaks out. 
And then as you sink, you straighten the arms or let them straighten completely dangling. And then push through the ground and come back to standing in the middle. We do that again. Rock back to the heels, start the hands going back and up. Rock to the toes, the hands go out and around, reaching into the distance. Rock to the heels, the hands come to the mouth and down to the belly. And then you sneak the butt out, point the fingers down. And as you sink the butt, you let the arms straight. Push into the ground and rise back up. It's called sink chi wash organs. Again, rock back and start the swing. Rock forward, carry it through. Rock back, the hands come mouth, belly, the butt sneaks out a little, and as you sink the tail, the arms dangle. Rise. Eventually, this movement can be done with such ease. Rock. Rock. Rock back. As the hands go to the belly, rock to the middle. And then tail and sink. Two more. Every time you come up, you're still. You don't go right into the next round. You have a moment of nothing. And then from nothing, you begin. Back. Up and over. Back. And through. Last one. Great job. Close. Now, bring this down just a touch. Arms down alongside you. Forward. Back. Down a little bit. Forward. Turn the palms to face each other. Down. They come up under the armpits and out and smoothly down. Then they go forward and up again, back again, and press. And then release through. It's the opening for a Tai Chi form. Forward and up. Back, forward, down, up under the armpits and out, down, forward and up, back, press, through, loose. Forward and up, back, forward, down, under armpit and unfurled out, and down, forward and up, back, press. Shift the weight a little to the right leg. Turn the belly button slightly right. The hands go slightly right. Shift the weight to the left leg. Turn the belly button. The hands sweep over. Shift to the right. Sweep. Shift to the left. Now, put your right hand behind your back. You got your left hand here. 
This first move is called Pung. Rising. So remember how we did rise when we were standing like this. But since we're over here, start rising, but then shift and turn. And so it'll be like you do a backhand smack to somebody over here, right? So now your weight is in this leg. Backhand smack. And then let that hand just fall and bring it across. Now we're ready. So again, the hand rises. And as you shift and turn, it's like you're backhanding. So the back of the hand leads across. And then you let it fall. Now we take that one step further. Backhand across. And then right here, turn the palm up and shift back and turn and glide like you're gliding something diagonally down and across. And then just release and let it come over here. And we come back. And we do it again. Pump, rising and up and over. Notice that has an energy and a trajectory to it. And then the palm faces up. We guide back and down. And let it release as you shift. And release as you shift. Pump, cross. Lu, which means, which is this energy of backwards guiding, sliding across. And then we change. And then we change. One more. Pum. Lu. And then let that arm hang. Bring your other arm out. Put your left arm behind your back. Now we got the right arm over here. As it rises for pum shift and turn so it's this back hand across and then Lou palm is facing up and just guide and slide it back and then let it release and swing it release and swing it back and now you're ready for pum rising and coming across Lou guiding and sliding it back and then release release Pum. Lou. And notice how that Lou doesn't fall this way. It comes across, right? So it's this downward trajectory diagonal and then release and release. One more. Pum. Lou. Release. Release. Now bring the other hand out and come over to this side and get ready for both hands pum, shift and turn. The back, the, so the left arm will do the same thing. The right arm does something a little bit sort of similar, right? It's this sort of fling of the arms that way. And then left palm faces up, right palm faces down, guide back and across and release and then change sides and let's do it this way backs of hands rising shift and turn just send those backs of hands across that's a pung then right palm facing the sky left palm facing the floor Lou. change sides hung up and across a great description, like you're throwing a blanket up and over something. And then left palm facing up, right palm facing down, Lou, back. And then change sides. Pum, throw the blanket up and over. And then guide and slide back, right palm facing up, left palm facing down. Change sides. Pum. Lou. Change sides. Pum. Lou. And change sides. Now, the other two energies we want to learn, G, which is driving forward, and on, which is pressing down, right? Which we did at that beginning. But now these are two different expressions of it. So bring your hands over to the right hip. Take the right hand. 
up and over and on top of an imaginary ball and the left hand right behind a ball. So this shape here, classic Tai Chi shape, back of hand facing the left side. So now you do G. And a great description of this, let's just do that a few times. Come back into your back leg. It's like a rolling pin. G, rolling pin, and back. So again, we got G, which is this rolling pin, and then we do on, turn your palms to face the floor, and bring them up to the chest, and then press down. And then we do sung here, tail sneaks out the back a little bit, and we sing. Come back up. Let's do that again to that same side. So it's G on. So we turn slightly to the right. Right hand comes up over the top, left hand in the front. So if this were on a ball, this is on the top of the ball. This is on the front of the ball or the side of the ball, you might say. And then rolling pin. And then bring the hands up over the top to the chest area and then press. That's on. And then through. Release. Do that again. Go to this side here, make the little ball, G. On, come up over the top, back to the middle, and then soft press through. Let's do G on to the other side. Shift to the left. Left hand comes up over the top of that circle. Right hand gets right in the front, and then rolling pin, G. Then shifting back, the hands come up over and press through. Rise up, do that again. Shift to the left, prepare. G, rolling pin. On, up, back to the middle, and down the middle, and through the middle. Rise again. Back, set up for G. G, on. Down the middle. Through the middle. Rise. Now let's put all those together. Shift your weight to your right leg, turn slightly right. Pung, rising, and it's like you're throwing a blanket. Lou, left palm faces up. We shift and bring the hands back and across at a diagonal. Now, change sides and then do G. Bring that hand on top of the ball, rolling pin. And then on, bring the hands up over the top, push down through the middle, and then release through the middle. Come back up. Now we go to this side and we go pung, throw the blanket, lu, glide and slide, change sides and do G on. So change, it flows right into making that ball G on, up, and then push down and go through. Do that again, rising and stay now to the right so that you're ready for Pung. Lu. Change sides. Set up for G. G. Ah, uh, up over the top and then push. Last one, hung, lu, change, g, on, sum, and rise. Uh, rock back, hands start their circle. Reach forward as you tip forward. 
Rock back, hands come to the mouth, to the belly. Stick the tail out, sink. Again, two more to close the practice. Winged, roll, fold, sink, 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 seal, here's your belly button, one hand over, other hand over that hand, five breaths. Job. Have a comfortable seat. If you have to just leave, feel free to just wave bye bye and leave. If you want to stick around and comment or question uh, 100%, feel free to do that as well. Thanks, everyone. Any thoughts?